Hey YouTube, it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker, and Inky, here for a garage sale haul. Went out Thursday, I went to 33, 31 garage sales, and I spent $76. That's a lot of garage sales. There was a neighborhood sale at one end of my route, so I hit all the other ones first. And then uh, I got a decent amount no matter where I went. I don't know, it seems to be the last few weeks it's been one or two particular sales. I got most of my stuff, but I did really good. So uh, let's jump right in and I'll show you all the awesomeness that I got. This is my cart that I take to the store. I load it up with lots of goodies and it's easy for me to roll it in. So it's still sitting here because I took it out of my car. But the first item I got for 75 cents, and if you understand cabling or these, I guess, are speaker cables, whatever, I don't know. I saw this and it's pretty full. It's a whole box of cable. I sent a picture to my husband real quick and I said, uh, is this something you could use? And he's like, get it. <laughs> so I guess he needs it. So yeah. So that was a pretty good pickup there. Uh, let's start at this end. I did get some Vera Bradley. Um, I did get three pieces. These two I'm going to sell together. They are a newer print. That's part of the reason I picked them up. Um, and these are very clean. So this one is for a like an e-reader. And I think I, this one didn't have a price. She said a dollar. Um, this, I believe, was two. And then the actual purse was five. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, it is a newer print. And this is just so clean and nice inside. But it's got this cheapy... Um, lining that they use in the newer purses. That's how I know they're newer purses. <laughs> newer meaning the last couple years. So my new and your new may not be the same new. So yeah, not too bad. Five, six, seven, eight dollars for all those. Uh, selling these together, I think they should do quite well. I guess we will see. So let me move those aside. Um, this coming Tuesday in two days, no, three or four days, I have uh, a restocking day at my mall, and we, uh, my sister and I, who share the space, have decided we're going to do travel on one wall. So I have this I bought, and the Eiffel Tower I bought, and I have some more, uh, you know, Eiffel Tower themed and uh, other, you know, I think I have one that says, picture says Rome. So we're going to be doing wall in Paris, and I think Rome, and... I don't know how much stuff we have, but we need to change our walls out. So I thought this would be a good deal. In fact, I don't remember. It seemed to me this week that we had a lot more people like, here, let me take that tag off because then I know who it belongs to kind of thing. So some of these might not have prices. I cannot imagine I probably paid 3 or $4 for this. Um, it will go into my booth for, I don't know, I'd say 12 bucks. I got this awesome little galvanized bucket with a B on it. It was $3. Um, I got, I don't know if I'm just going to save that until fall to stage some homemade pumpkins. I made some fabric pumpkins. So I may keep that for a display piece, but of course I'll probably eventually sell it. This guy had a ton of corks. I think it was a dollar a bag. I usually keep these because whenever I buy something that needs a cork in it or has a uh, like a cork cage that people keep their corks. I'm able to put a handful in so people can look at it and know what it is. I got this white, uh, I don't know, mug rack, hat rack, coat rack, whatever you want to call it. It was 75 cents. Um, I don't know if we're going to use that for display or if I may sell it. I don't know. If I sell it, it'll probably go on eBay. Okay, I don't want to lose track of where I am. I got this because, you know, you can always use a little bag uh, if I'm selling jewelry or other items. It was a quarter. These two look old, but they are not. When you look at the back, you can tell. Is that a Hobby Lobby? Yes, $16. It's got this little frame. Uh, I got two of them. They were $3 a piece. So I am trying to decide. I may sell them as a set. I don't know. I'm thinking off the top of my head I might do 14 to 16 for both. I don't know. I can always change my mind. <laughs> I don't know why I picked this up. It is a men's cologne. The two colognes I can sell individually in my booth because I do have perfumes and colognes. 
and the other accessories I might just take and look at these birds. They're like, hey lady, you don't have another suet cake in here. They're so demanding. Anyway, um, we have a pantry bin. A little, it's called a little pantry. They have them all over the country. They're like uh, just a little box on the side of the road for people to donate and who are in need. So I'll probably just put those other pieces in there. Any kind of pantry items, food items, non-perishable, and uh, maybe medicine or self-care items, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, that type of thing. So yeah, that's where those other pieces will go. I got three uh, pieces of clothing. One is a nightgown, two are tops to sell. Yes, I like my granny nighties, what can I say? <laughs> This one I think she said was a 2X, and it's just a basic cotton nightie. So there, you saw my nighties. Are you happy now? <laughs> These two items here on the corner, I'll get back to the shirts. I believe that this is a scrubby holder. It was only a dollar, but they put a soap in there. So it was at Marshall's originally. Yeah, happy spring scrubby holder. See, I was right. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do for that and put that out. Uh, I just had a hand trowel uh, bust on me. It had a hollow handle. Of course, cheap. I don't know where I got it. 50 cents, I got this nice one. I planted some flowers in the back of my yard, and sure enough, that thing snapped right in my hand. But thankfully, I was done. <laughs> so not too bad. You know, it's nice time to find things that you need for yourself while you're garage selling, not only uh, picking up things to resell. These two tops are both a 3X and they are both a CJ, no, I thought they were both CJ Banks. This one's CJ Banks, 50 cents. Oh, by the way, this was 50 cents. These were 50 cents. Um, and then a Croft and Barrow, Barrow, 3X. This one is a three quarter. This one is a short sleeve. Uh, the color on these just look amazing. You can tell there's barely any wear to them at all. So I will sell these online. I saw this and thought, there's so many different possibilities I could use this for. It's like this fabric runner, I don't know what you'd call it, like a strip of fabric that has uh, the anchors on it. Fashion wrap. $6 originally, I paid a quarter. So yeah, I mean, you put this around even just a, a ball jar and put a, you know, like a tea light or something in there. I don't know, I'll figure it out. This too. <laughs> I didn't look it up on my phone because I didn't have my phone in my hand at the time. But it is a recycled paper bead. You put it on a jar that you've cleaned or on a bottle. And you cut the strips and then this rolls them up and then they drop into the bottom. And people make necklaces and other things. Isn't that cool? So $2, I'll look it up on eBay, see what it sells for. But I thought that was a cool kid craft, isn't it? Uh, what age is? Over five. Yeah, not too bad. So I got some figurines. Uh, I got this very heavy glass fish. I think I paid three or four for him. This very cute uh, jar with the amber glass on the bottom that is shaped like an owl. It was a dollar. Uh, I got a statue or a bust of David. It was five. People buy these like crazy. Whenever I take them into the store, they go really fast. So this I'll probably put, I'd say 16 to 18, and it will go within a few weeks. Um, an owl, he was $2. He doesn't light up or anything. A chicken for a dollar. I have a whole bunch of chickens uh, I'm starting to get more chickens, so I'm going to have to stage these all together because I also have for a dollar these salt and pepper shakers that are chickens. So very cute. Um, I got a frog. This is for putting in the bottom of a, uh, a container to arrange your flowers. Uh, 50 cents. I mean, it's not an old one, but I thought, oh, these are just even pretty to have just sitting out. And I usually don't find them for that good of a price, so pick that up for 50 cents. I got this boxer. He does have a chip on his ear, um, so he will be an as-is at the store. But it says Inarco Japan on it, so it is an older piece, but somebody would love to have that. Uh, I got this wood carving of a schnauzer. Isn't he adorable? So yeah, I thought that was pretty good. So I paid, I think, a dollar for that. And then these two little darlings, one's a rabbit, one's a dog. Now, you know what these are if you ever see these. Okay, I'm going to take you into my kitchen, and I'm going to show you what these are. 
I got my candle from my garage sale a week or two ago. <laughs> it is a little thing to sit on your plant. Isn't he cute? But uh, yeah, that's what he's for. In case you didn't know, now you know. So he's just like a little bisque uh, ceramic piece. So yeah, I don't know how much uh, these will go for. I think I paid a quarter for them. This still in the box, uh, five dollars. Uh, the tail is the pendulum uh, cat clock. I just thought that was too adorable. I keep forgetting to tell you prices, but you know basically how I price things. So this particular item, I would probably put, uh, I'd say 20 to 22 on him. Oh, so cute. Yinky, it's a kitty. He totally does not care. <laughs> These, I don't usually buy these, but they were just so cute and reminded me of my childhood. I'll have to empty them out, of course. But there is, what, three, four, five containers for a dollar of these older um, tins, the metal tins that they use for spices. Isn't that cool? So, yeah, I will probably empty those out. I will do a little research on them. I know people sell them at my antique mall, but I've never found them before, so... But I thought for less than a quarter a piece, 20 cents a piece, it was certainly worth picking them up. Um, this is, now I didn't buy it on, on the garage ceiling, but this speaker, holy cow, I'm cleaning my house and I carry this from room to room and it's like having a full stereo wherever you are. So I jam out when I clean. So I don't know why I left it there. Let's put it over there. And that leads us to this cool item. Let me turn the light off in here. There we go. I got this very adorable hobnail base lamp. It's got these flowers on it. Oh, so I plugged it in to make sure it worked and I thought I'll just leave it there for the video. So that I think I paid three or $4 for it. So that will go to my booth. Oh, it's just so darling. Um, let's see, what else did I forget? I wanna make sure I don't forget anything. I will pick these up if they're cheap enough. As I said with the other cologne over here, I do sell cologne and perfume in my booth. I mean, these have barely any out of them. I'll probably put three, four bucks on them and they'll sell. Uh, it's just to keep, a, you know, something girly there for people and they're interested because it's a lower price item. And this is the kind of thing, if people like the scent, they'll buy it without question. And that's three to four dollars each would be more than enough to get what I paid, which was 50 cents a piece. I did go to another sale and they had a whole bunch of stuff too, but it was pretty expensive. And I'm like, mm, nah, not gonna do that. I mentioned my salt and pepper shakers. At a garage sale, I got all three of these very cool lanterns at one sale. They were all a dollar a piece. And I'm probably, I will not sell them as a set because they don't necessarily matchy matchy. So I will probably put $14 a piece on those. I do really well with lanterns, especially ones that have this kind of, you know, look to them. And I love the uh, little glass block look instead of just glass. Very cute. Um, this is so funny. So I was looking at this at a garage sale and I'm like, wow, it's kind of beat up. I mean, it's, it's old. It's, it. You know, it's having a little bit of issues here and there. It's missing something off the bottom. But there was no price. And uh, I said, uh, uh, how much for this? And the lady goes, uh, 50 cents. And there was an older gentleman sitting there half asleep. And he perked up and he said, I told you somebody would buy it. <laughs> so evidently everybody thought it was uh, worthy of the trash. But uh, he said, no, 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 put it in the sale. Somebody will buy it. And that somebody was me. Because <laughs> if there's anything weird or kooky or uh, who would buy that, yeah, that's me. I, I would buy it. So I don't know how much I'm going to put on it. It does have some condition issues, but I can at least get 12 to 14 out of that all day long. Uh, this, uh, I'm not even sure why I picked this up. I think I got it at the same sale as these. So it was originally, you know, cheapo, cheapo. Oh, Kohl's. $14.99. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably just put a candle in there and then sell it. I paid 50 cents for it. So, I mean, if I can get six bucks out of it, I'll be happy. This is kind of cool and I think I'm going to keep it. We don't have a fire pit or anything at my house. I don't have a super, super big backyard, but I saw this and thought that is cool. 
So it is a clean burn tabletop fire table top fire piece. Isn't that cool? So you just light it and it's good for, you know, how many ever hours. And I guess you can, uh, maybe you can still get these. Yeah, the clean burn system. So I don't know. I don't know how much that was originally, but it is the Tiki brand. But I think I paid a dollar for that. So yeah, that's, I think I'm going to keep that. This also I'm going to keep. I think the only uh, season I really uh, decorate for is fall. So I think this will go cute on this very table. And somebody made it. I paid a whole dollar. And even, oops, there goes the tag. And even the back is got little acorns on it. Isn't that sweet? So yeah, that's going to be on my table. I got some deodorant. I uh, love to pick up uh, deodorant and other healthcare things when I can find them. This happens to be the brand that I use, so I'm like, sure, 50 cents a piece. So yeah, they're like three to four dollars a piece normally, so I got that. If I ever do find things at a really good price, I will put it in the pantry bin. I mean, I'm always looking. Uh, I have a whole bunch of these at the store, so we kind of group them together. Uh, it says casino money. I think I only paid a buck for this. And it does have the cork in it. So yeah, those will probably be eight bucks in my booth. Um, these were a quarter each at this lady, evidently. She had a ton of makeup. And you could tell when you buy a lot of makeup or perfume, they just give you a whole bunch of samples. <coughs> Excuse me, like a bag, you know, a little zipper case with a whole bunch of sizes in there. So this might be some of that. Um, this is actually Bath and Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar. It's a bar. Uh, this is Ulta. It is brow gel. Oh, use that. Um, a uh, Dr. Teal's Pink Himalayan Salt Scrub. It's still sealed. And this one's sealed too. It is a matte makeup setting spray. Someday we'll get back to wearing makeup. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Quarter piece, can't hardly beat that. Also, I uh, wash my face in the morning and in the evening, and I wanted to get one of these. And I saw this one, and I'm like, hey, it's 50 cents for two. So uh, this could probably just stick it on the wall in the shower. There, now it's stuck to my table. I thought this was adorable, and it was only a quarter. It says, dinner is poured. <laughs> I always have a wine shelf, and it does really well, so any little sign that has a funny saying or a court cage or cute little wine glasses that look special, I'm always about picking those up. And I actually had a package of two of these, um, and this one fell out of the package. I didn't find it till I unpacked everything, but my daughter needed this for her uh, side view mirror. So yeah, so now she has two. She's like, I only need one because one fell off. And I said, well, put it in your glove box. You'll need it eventually. So yeah, it's a good time to find stuff, not only to sell, but if there's things you need or want around the house, it's the best time of year to get things on the cheap. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I can be very rushed. I know. I'm trying to get my house clean. I got a ton of things I got to finish doing. The only room I've gotten clean so far is my kitchen, which was a lot of work. But anyway, I will continue to do what I got to do and bore you no longer. So uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What item or two would you have picked up? And which would you have said, nope, I'm leaving it behind? Let me know. I'm always interested to see what you guys like and what you guys wouldn't have bought. It's kind of a fun little game we got going on here. So I will see you guys next time. Remember, all my social media is down in the description box below. And I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.